this is Myra from Camp Mai Mai and today we're going to talk about five things that you need to stay warm in your teardrop camper. I'm used to give all I have, I'm used to get nothing back, wherever I go it's the same. So last spring, my family and I took a trip to Glacier National Park, Yellowstone National Park, and on the way, we experienced temperatures as low as 25 degrees Fahrenheit at night. It was freezing, but luckily, I have this awesome new Camp Tag camper, and it's slightly insulated, apparently, so I was able to stay warm. In, while sleeping in the camper. I had no electric hookups for much of that trip. So I want to talk about the things that I used to stay warm, even though I could not, I have a heater in my camper, but I couldn't use it because we had no electricity. So this is what I did. Now, the one first thing I want to say is that whenever you're sleeping in your camper, especially if it's cold outside and you're trying to be warm on the inside, you're going to want to open up your fan. So I'm not sure if you can see this here. I'm going to Move the camera out a little bit just to make sure you can see it. You want to make sure that you crank it open for ventilation. It might seem kind of counterintuitive that you would open something up, like open up a window or open up your vent when it's freezing outside, but you really need that ventilation and airflow to prevent condensation on your windows or even worse, condensation running down the side of your camper. That would be terrible. So make sure you crack open a window or crack open your vent. You don't need to run your fan, just crack open that vent. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is wool base layers. Um, the, this will really help keep you warm day and night. Wool, uh, the properties of wool will wick moisture away from your body if you're sweating or get wet. Um, it dries very quickly and it really does keep you warm. So this is a smart wool base layer. I have. Um, a base a shirt and base layer pants which are kind of like yoga pants but they're wool and that's what I would wear at night for sleeping so it's really like just wool pajamas they don't overheat you and you don't, you don't really get too hot but wool is very important wool hat typically I would wear also if it's really cold at night you just pop a hat on before you go to bed it will help retain your body heat wool socks are also very important I learned about wool socks when I was camping one time and I was on a hike and um, I had the wrong shoes on, so I was kind of hiking through grass, and my feet got wet. And that first that night at the campground, I was my feet were frozen. So the next day, I went out and found some wool socks, and that's all I wear now is wool socks. So Smart Wool, um, whatever company makes merino wool, will be a great product for just getting wool base layers, wool sweater, whatever. But I love I love this cute wool sweater, so this is really good. My other lifesaver, which I just love, not only is this super cute, this Cotopaxi down jacket, um, I, this jacket is great. Like you will, it's called the Cotopaxi Fuego, and this is actually the men's version. I got it on sale, so I just bought the men's version because I like these colors. But I'll add a link below. the The jacket is adorable. It's um, it's it is down. Um, and it is responsibly sourced down, so you, you can be confident about that. Um, if you want to keep your body regulated at a good temperature, get a down jacket. That is the best way to go. You don't want to get down jacket wet, but if you're trying to stay warm and comfortable and not overheat, a, a down jacket is great. All right, this is my bed, and the first thing we're going to talk about is the USB heated throw. Most electric blankets will run your battery down quickly, but this one takes very little power and shuts off automatically. You can either use a battery pack, or in this case, I use my Goal Zero power station to plug it in. This is just a throw, so it's not gonna cover your whole body, but what it will do is if you put it inside of your bedding before you go to bed, it's gonna warm everything up. You can get in bed, cover up, it'll heat up your core, and by the time it shuts off in an hour or so, you're going to be warm and toasty. And if you get cold during the night, 
All you have to do is click the button and it will warm you up once again. Okay, now let's talk about sleeping bags. This is the 2021 Zen Bivy Bed um, 23 degree system. This is a down top quilt and a fitted sheet with a down hood. I absolutely love this sleeping bag. The new camp tag has a full size bed if you have both mattresses spread out. But in this case, I stacked the mattresses and the sheet from this bed system fits perfectly over one mattress. This is a 30 by 80. They come in different sizes, so this one is 30 by 80. Just fits right over the tag mattress. And then you can zip the um, top quilt to the sheet. They, they'll zip together. In this case, I have one side unzipped. But I just love this. It, so it's a, actually a top quilt that you can zip into a sleeping bag. And then this would be kind of the mummy bag shape, which is great for cold weather camping because it's really the, the most efficient way to stay warm in a sleeping bag. What I love about this the most is that because I like to stick one foot out when I'm sleeping, so you can actually uncinch that end of it and you can open up the whole end of it. You can unzip the whole thing if you just want to use a quilt. It's super versatile, super warm and I love it. And again, if you have a tag, a new camp tag five wide at least, it's just an easy way to make up the bed. If there's two of you and you, you need to use both mattresses to have a full size bed, you just buy two systems and, and you have, you each have your own warm <laughs> sleeping bag or quilt. And if it's cool out, you just unzip everything into a quilt and it's just the most perfect system for the teardrop. I'll post a link below to the Zenbivy website. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is a heavy-duty wool blanket. This is a Hudson Bay Point blanket, and I was lucky that my son-in-law had this blanket that he inherited from his parents. I think this blanket is 30 or 40 years old. It is in great condition. You can't put this in the washing machine. It, it You have to really be careful with this blanket. Um, maybe you dry clean it or really if you're going to wash it, you can do it in cold water. But it's very heavy, which helps to retain your body heat when you're sleeping. So if you're going to be cold weather camping, I highly recommend having a blanket like this. This is not one of those cheap um, wool throws that you can buy. This is the real deal. But like I said, it's 30 to 40 years old. And this thing will keep you warm. It will last forever. You'll pass it on to your children. Your grandchildren grandchildren will use it. Um, you just cannot go wrong buying this blanket. Just make sure you follow the care instructions to keep it in good shape. Okay, well, I hope that helped. Those were my five tips to stay warm in your teardrop camper. And if you like this kind of content, if you like camping, teardrop camping, um, camping for women over 50, then please like and subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you a subscriber. And please um, add to the comments below any tips that you have for staying warm in your teardrop camper. Thank you so much.